Suitable wiring methods, 110.8. The only wiring methods permitted to be installed in buildings, occupancies, or premises are those recognized by the NEC. And, and to make it simple, we need to understand what is a wiring method. So, Brian, why don't you take me to NFPA link, and let's go to um, article, let's go to chapter three, and I'm wondering, and Link, what is Chapter 3, what, is, what do they title Chapter 3? Chapter 3 is Wiring Methods and Materials. Okay, so Chapter 3 is Wiring Methods and Materials. And if we take a look at my slide, and we'll switch between the two of us here. If we look at my slide, the only wiring methods which would be, to be, can be installed in a building or occupancies are those recognized by the code. And if we go to Chapter 3, the general wiring methods, right? You know, general requirements, chapter one through four. Let's just really quickly go down, Brian. You got a great show right there. Right. Let's go down. We got wiring methods. Well, well, okay. Article 300 is kind of not really. Let's go back up. All right. Article 300 is not really a wiring method. It's general, right? General. It's the stuff that we're going to be talking about the rest of this chapter, okay? And then 305. Well, that's over a thousand over, volts. That's a new article over. Yeah. 1,310 is conductors. Okay, we got conductors. We got cabinets and cutout boxes. We got recept. We got outlets. We got medium voltage. We got armor cable, uh, flat cable assemblies, another cable, another cable, another cable, cable, cable. What we're going to run into is Chapter 3 has all the wiring methods. The code says, look, whatever wiring methods that's permitted by the code is what you can do. All right? So we're like, okay, well, like, like, okay, I don't understand why you're spending all this time here. Well, because of examples like this here, and I think this probably be a great graphic to have in the book, not as a support graphic, to support okay. that, well, clearly, if the rule says only wire meth is recognized by printed to be code, installed in buildings, occupancies, or premises, are those recognized by the code, clearly these fittings are not recognized. It might be even electrical piping, but the fittings are not recognized. And that's not somebody's house. That's in a commercial building. <laughs> yeah. It's not like some homeowner went to Home Depot and bought some parts. That's in a commercial building. But you know, he did have a 90 here. But he had two of them going into the panel. <laughs> oh, there's two. Okay. And then a little piece of flex? Yeah. I think that's a piece of flex. Cared about safety. Put an arc blast sticker on there. Hey. Oh, there's an arc flash label inside there. <laughs> that was the engineer that came by and did that. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the label? We'll stick that puppy on. The engineer's like, there's nothing else I can no, do. No, this is PVC, okay? Beyond. So let's go to the wiring method that's contained in a code for PVC. So let's go to 352. And Brian, let's look at 352.6, which talks about the scope. I mean, it talks about PVC conduit. Factory elbows and associated fittings shall be listed. So we were gonna, we can make this a 110.10, 110.8 code violation right here, and we would also say that that violates 252.6. These fittings are not listed for that particular one. And one more violation. What is 300.15? What is 300.15? That fittings must be designed for the specific raceway. So, Mario, we need to get some of these and put this in a 300 at 15. Maybe not the same one, but we could use the same Unless one. Listen, while we're writing them up, we'll just do 110.12 and say that that's a sorry job and a poor execution <laughs> like of work. That, that's right. my well, favorite right I there. I like that. And also, it's well, not professional okay, or we're skillful. Not as, long <laughs> as, as long as we're on a roll here, it's also 352.24a. Well, hold on, hold that's, on. Let's go there. Let's go, let, oh, yeah, yeah. Let's, are we going to pile it up on this guy? <laughs> That's right. 352 is 24. PVC, right? What does that one say? 24 is bends. Okay. Bends shall be made, uh, shall be so made that the conduit will not be damaged and the internal diameter of the conduit will not be effectively reduced. Field bends shall be made only with identified bending equipment. The radius of the curve to the center line of such bends oh. shall not be less than that shown in Table 2, Chapter 9. Click on that, Brian. Let's see what the heck is he talking about there. Table 2, Chapter 9. Is there a radius in there? What is this? Let's see. Yeah, Table 2, Chapter 9. Right it's got... Right click on that. Okay. Right, so this is what? This is half inch, you think? Probably half. Well, some's half inch, some's three quarters. It looks like some three quarters. Well, like no, wait a minute. No, wait a minute. Half inch. Are you in Chapter 9, Table 4? You look like you're in 4. I don't know. Okay. Well, 
maybe they didn't have the right link. Yeah, they might Good. have the wrong link. They have the wrong link. No, no, radius right Good. here. Yeah, Chapter yeah. 9, too. Radius is a kind of, uh, Brian, higher. Oh, there it is. Okay, half inch radius is going to be, go a little further to the right. Span table. So if it's a half inch, let's just say, the radius is four inches. Right? Yeah, so a plumbing 90 is definitely yeah, not going to work. All right, so we can't meet that. That was 352.24A. 24A. 24A. Okay. Just write them all up so they know you're really <laughs> smart. <laughs> <laughs> all righty. Okay, so suitable wire methods. Here's another plumbing fitting. Right? In the ground. Definitely looks like a weatherproof box. Yep. I really don't like that graphic. Why? That bell box in the ground facing up with the screws. What's wrong with that? I'm sure it's not a violation, but it is going to fill up with water and the splice is going to burn up. That's the way it goes. I said I just didn't, <laughs> said I didn't like the picture. Okay. Listen. What, you don't have a service department in your company? <laughs> so you're not thinking about your brothers and sisters after you do this installation. Because if you cared about your brothers and sisters, you'd make sure you do it code compliant. And if it burns up outside in the ground, it doesn't really matter. Now, you might burn the house because there have been cases of boxes and, and wiring, out, low voltage wiring outside and, 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 and bedding material. I replaced a $40,000 generator because of some low volt lights a homeowner installed and caught all the landscaping on fire. Yep. Yep. So start thinking about your other people besides yourself. 